I'm Muffy Herman of Fashionably From Baby Wearing, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a front and a hip carry using a stretchy wrap. And they both start the exact same way, so that's convenient. You're going to start by finding the middle marker and placing it high on your chest. The middle marker usually has the label. And then bring it around your back. Hold it both in one hand, take your other hand under and up, do it in, and switch hands. And now bring them to the opposite side, and up and over your shoulders. Now we're going to bunch them both up, and bunch them into a ball. Pull this open, and bring them under and through. Now, there's a lot of extra slack. We don't need that much space for our baby. So we are going to just pull out all the extra slack. Um, it should fit like a fitted t-shirt. Now we are just going to crisscross and either tie a double knot around your back or I'm gonna tie it around my front because I have enough um, extra ends. It's whatever you have room for depending on how long your wrap is. And just tie a double knot. So this is a very stretchy wrap so it looks kind of tight but there's a lot of slack in it. There's plenty of space to put my baby. We want about six to eight inches between you and your body. And we're just going to make sure that nothing is uh, twisted. So the inner pass and put baby on your opposite shoulder. You're going to start with the leg closest to the outside and just pop it in. Bring baby to your other shoulder, reach under, meet baby's leg and help it in. And now let baby sink down so that they're in the position so that she is in the position that you want to put her in. And You want the fabric bunched up between the babies, like in baby's knee pits, and you want baby, excuse me, position right now in that deep M-shaped leg position that we are going for. So baby's legs and bum are in the shape of an M. Now we are going to spread it out. So starting with the inner pass, the side that we started on, bring it to the middle of baby's bum, wrap the ends, and just stretch it from one knee over the shoulder to the other knee, to the other shoulder. And now do the same thing on the other side. Bring it to the middle, spread it knee to knee, shoulder to shoulder. It should go all the way up to the nape of baby's neck, uh, but no higher. And now don't forget to put your horizontal pass over. So over one leg, over the other leg, and spread it out. All right, so that is a front uh, carry in a stretchy wrap. Um, you can spread the shoulders out, spread out all your passes so that it's nice and comfortable and explicit if your stuff's not really gonna work. Um, or you can, if baby's sleeping, you can uh, fold this out so that you can see their airway. You can fold it up. This way, you can just bunch it up on your shoulders, or whatever is comfortable for you. Alright, so now we are going to transition into a hip carry. So for a hip carry, you put it on the exact same way, but then you are going to take the entire wrap, bunch it up in your hand, you're holding the entire thing, grab onto baby, and jump and twist. It's that simple. So people sometimes, or babies sometimes, prefer a hip carry 
because it allows them to see more of the world. Um, they can look out, see what's going on, and it's a nice alternative to a forward facing out carry because baby has a much greater range of vision. They can see what's going on. Um, they can be as nosy as they want, but then when they get tired, it's a safe position to sleep in because they can rest their head gently on your shoulder. If the world gets too much for them, it's a little overstimulating, overwhelming, they can turn in and nuzzle into you. Um, and it's a very comfortable position for both mom and baby. So you can just spread everything out however it's comfortable for you. But that's really all there is to it. To take baby out, um, you can either undo those steps in this position or bring baby back to the front and undo the steps in this position. So you take this pass and pull it down. You take this one and pull it down. This one and pull it down and get baby's legs out one foot. And now you can put your baby down somewhere safe. Thank you so much for watching.